glad you were joining us. Those of us who have children in high school, as I do, and older, of course, uh, know that there are a lot of things that we can do for our kids that uh, begin at a younger age. Uh, Cheryl Paddock is with us right now, and she is executive director of the Novato Youth Center. Nice to see you, Cheryl. Uh, 35 years? I know. It's amazing. I, first of all, I want to thank Comcast for having me here today. You're going to be sponsoring I our 35th that, anniversary. Thing, Comcast, big name. Like I that. know. Yeah. We're so, I'm so happy to be here. But yeah, we're celebrating 35 years. We actually started uh, in the 60s as a grassroots organization. Yeah. It took 10 years for concerned citizens who wanted a safe haven for their kids after school to build the center. And in 1976, when we opened, we served 300 youth that year. And today, uh, 35 years later, we serve uh, 3,500 youth and their families. So right. we've grown tremendously. That is great. And I should explain to the people at home going, 35, she can't be doing that, 35. No, you've been with them for a couple of years. Is that right? I have. And yeah. actually, I replaced an executive director that was there 23 years. Uh -huh. the, the thing that's special about the Youth Center is there's very long-time staff and board members. Mm -hmm. And I think that makes uh, parents feel very committed to the center. We have board members that term out at 12 years, and actually our current board president has been there five years, and it's typically a one-year term. Yeah. Tell us a little thing about the programs that are involved in that. Right. Our, our mission is to inspire and prepare youth to succeed in uh, academics and health and well-being, enrichment in arts, arts and athletics, and with community service. Okay. That covers just about everything, Cheryl. It does. So yeah. what we do is we have five programs that work yeah. together in a comprehensive way to provide a deeper impact for youth and their families. And I think that makes us one of the uh, one of a kind center in Marin County. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's let's say I'm uh, living in that area and uh, I have a eight year old and I want to get my child involved in the youth center. What happens? Well, first of all, you'd call up, you'd come for a tour, see our twenty three thousand square foot facility, mm -hmm. and meet our staff and some of our volunteers, and meet our our drivers who would drive your child to and from school. From there, you'd meet our cook who prepares meals for your child every day, and then you'd meet our academic specialist in the homework club who would help your child um, complete their homework every day. Mm -hmm. The other thing that's special about our center is if your child had problems in school, say academically or maybe with bullying, which is a common thread these days, we do have a full youth and family counseling program. And so we could put your child and you in counseling if you wanted to strengthen that bond with I your child. I think that's important, you know, because the homework, uh, if, they're not, if they fall behind now, it's so competitive in all these schools, they're, they're in trouble. And, and I like the homework club. That, that just has a nice ring to it, you know. I know. Yeah. It's, it, the kids spend hours there, and, and that's what the parents love about our yeah. center. Actually, when I interview the parents, um, we just finished a strategic planning session, and the common thread throughout that was that they all said that they trust us. They, parents trust us with their children. Uh, re, uh, donors trust us with their resources, and mm -hmm. so we really feel um, fortunate to be able to serve the community in this way. Yeah, if you have a child that's, uh, let's say, 10 or 11, something like any of those ages, and they're not doing well in school, they can come to this, you know, to the council there and, and talk to people about it and get them involved after school, is that it? That's it, right. They can come before. Say, we have parents that actually come all the way from San Francisco or as far as Santa Rosa. Really? And because we are really a one-of-a-kind center. And um, so th the parents will drop off their child. They'll receive the safe transportation and then the after-school homework club. And then you can come home from work and pick up the child after school. Their homework's done. They're fed. And they're ready to uh, enjoy family well, time with you. Well, that's a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> Here's my child. Take care of everything for me. <laughs> exactly. Me uh, we're just about out of time, but the center is having the party, the anniversary, and when? March 24th. Uh -huh. And we'd love for you to come. I actually brought you an invitation I today. I see that. Yeah. Comcast is a sponsor. Cheryl Jennings from ABC7. A friend News of mine, as I said. Yeah. yeah, she's our MC, And Mary Jane Burke, superintendent of Marin County Schools, mm -hmm. is our keynote speaker. Okay. Nice to have you here, Cheryl. Uh, Cheryl Paddock has been our guest, and she is the executive director of the Novato Youth Center. Thanks very much for joining us. Thanks, Cheryl.